Go east, young man. There's gold in them there swamps. That's how it goes, right? Something like that, but not exactly. Oh. I think. No. Maybe we're supposed to go west and it's in the hills. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, we're going east. There's gold in them there swamps. It's cold and it's wet and it's windy in Texas and it's following us over here. But we're on our way to Louisiana. We're gonna go do a little bit of red fishing. This is Daniel. Daniel's my buddy. Very rarely do you meet the perfect fishing partner. Not only is Daniel a good fisherman, but Daniel loves to drive. I hate to drive. He made me drive one time and I've made a point to complain about it for three months and I'm kind of hoping he's learned his lesson and, and uh, corrected his ways. So we're headed to Louisiana and go chase some redfish. We're going to an area that, that I've never been before, but we're gonna go give it a shot, figure it out. Welcome to the channel, glad you're here, and uh, see what happens. I am trying to make this video smooth, but these roads are I'm trying, can't do anything about it. Call the state. If a boat ever wanted to call a manager, it's the Karen Susan. How cool is that? Dang otters living in front of our house. I've always liked those things since I was a little kid at SeaWorld. It made me want to grow up and be an otter trainer. I blew a whistle at that one like three times. He didn't do any tricks. All right, sun's finally getting up where we can see. We're waiting on Daniel. And then it is time to go find some Louisiana redfish. Yeah, oh, that's a good one too, Daniel. Get him, get him, get him, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the goal is about that far in front of them. But when they're, it, seem, it, it doesn't make sense, but it seems like when they're on a negative bite, you don't slow their doer down and wait on them, if that makes sense. You want them to react instead of decide they, if they want to eat it or not, you want them to react. I should have worn my, my ski pants this morning. I was feeling a little bit cocky. Big but strong. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Move, move, move. Alright, first one of the morning. We're using a uh, a belly weighted weedless hook on a white uh, creature bait. This one had his nose stuck down in the grass, so I just drug it right on top of his head, gave it a couple of twitches to make it move some water, and uh, he felt that water moving and just reached up and grabbed it. So here on our boat, we pretty much turn loose of everything, including Louisiana redfish. Off he goes. Hey Wigglers, weedless hook. Got a little eighth ounce belly weight on it. And they, uh, I don't even know, so just a rage creature bait. I like white a lot over here in this water with the sun. And, uh, and y'all can see the grass is so thick that it's hard to get a, a jig through, jig head through it. 
And when the tide comes back in, I'll probably switch to a jig head. But right now, this is what we're, we're throwing at them. I've had two refuse it and one eat it. So keep giving, keep giving this one a shot till I get some more water back. All right, pretty shallow here. Uh, we've probably seen eight or 10 good sized redfish casted, a handful of them and got one of them to eat. But I'm gonna go find some deeper water and I think whenever the water gets a little bit deeper, they'll get a little bit less spooky and we'll be able to move around better and use a better selection of lures on them. So time to make a run. How you do it, my boy? Oh, we saw this one over on the grass line, and he wasn't really taking it, so we put on the spinner bait and Wongo. He's a strong fish. I don't know how heavy he is, but he's strong. I still don't think he's... Uh, I'll quit him. <clears throat> nah, that's, a, that's a better one. That's a better one. Give him a kiss to Steve. We saw this one cruising the bank a pretty good ways away threw some plastics at him he didn't want and he spooked out the middle and then I put a I grabbed up a spinner bait real quick and he ate it right away oh. man these Louisiana redfish are pretty look how dark they are that's how you can tell uh, when you're looking on Facebook at people's pictures where they're at that that dark bronze that's not really a Texas thing a beautiful fish glad to have them all right buddy Oh, boom! Those make me happy. They make you happy, Daniel? Absolutely. They make me happy. Anyway, we made a we made a move. We were in shallower water and it, it wasn't working out for us. We came to a little bit deeper water. We're dealing with a stiff north northwest wind right now and it's really blown the marsh out and taken a lot of water that would be good for us away. And then the fish that we do find, they're not as aggressive because I mean we're post frontal, it's shallow water. Fortunately with these skies, we're really able to see them and we can really put it on their nose and finesse them. All right, so on to the next one. All right, so in light of the wind dead in our face and the water being dirtier, I went to a heavier, it's a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. Nothing special, just what was on sale at Bass Pro Shop, to be honest. What you think about it, D? Oh yeah, a little redfish, Louisiana style. There's not just a whole lot of fish in the shallow, shallow, shallow water. We've changed up our game, and and we're we're just we're concentrating on watching mud boils and wakes and fishing those. So instead of actually trying to sight cast the fish themselves, we got in this deeper ditch. You can see that the the water's out a solid two feet. I mean, it the tide is gone here. So we've elected to instead of try to see the fish, we've gotten a little bit deeper water, and we've been pushing wakes, and we're. We're seeing the wakes, we're just dropping a lure in front of them. I think we've casted it about three so far and Daniel just hooked up with that one. That one was right at or maybe a little bit over 27 and uh, what did I say, seven and a half, eight pounds? Yeah. Seven and a half, eight pound fish. It's a good fish, pretty fish, a lot of spots. Got a feeling I'm not too far from coming out of this jacket. Yeah. It's like I'm not. Oh, there he is. It's not the biggest fish we've caught all day, but 
She's not a little baby either. It's nice when a plan comes together. These fish are freezing cold, so that kind of explains a lot why the bite's how it is. But this guy feels like an ice cube. He's chilled out. Oh yeah, now, now we're red fishing. Yes, sir. A little bit of that Mississippi try hard right there. <laughs> All right, guys, we are losing our sun. The shadows are getting long. It is uh, the water. The water's just getting is is getting dirty. It's shallow. It's dirty. The tide's moving. It's probably all we're gonna get for uh, sight casting today. But it is freezing out here. We fish pretty hard. We're about to go back to the warmth. I think I'm gonna get a Dos Equis, put it in a microwave with a marshmallow. Cause I feel like I deserve a beer, but man, anything cold just sounds like a bad idea. Oh, Steve over here, this guy, he's lost all desire to do anything. I mean, look at this poor guy. Look at this, how pathetic is that? Steve, are you being pathetic? Huh? Steve's judging us. He said, y'all suck. But anyhow, we're going to make a run out of here. Hey, th thanks for watching. Thanks for thanks for, for being part of my first episode. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have more coming. We're here, for, we're here for multiple days, and then I'm here for multiple weeks, for multiple months this spring and, and summer. So I'm going to be putting a lot up from, uh, you know, the, the state of Louisiana, and then we have quite a bit coming from Texas too. But thanks for being here, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.